Hi, I'm Madeline from Sheen Slings and this is my review of the Manduka XT carrier. So I'm going to start by talking you through the features of this carrier from bottom upwards. Talk a bit about the positions it offers for baby, how long you can expect it to last, um, and its pros and cons, and how this compares to other carriers on the market to put it in context. So starting from the bottom, I start with the waistband. And you see the waistband on this carrier, I'll show you like this, is um, relatively firm but quite mouldable, quite adjustable. Relatively firm in terms of penning but not too big. It's not really very, very wide. It's not thin either, but it's not very, very wide. But what it does do is, is it goes much wider here. You can see it's quite a shape, if I bring that up. So it's quite a shaped waistband. And what this does is that can be, depending on how well it sits on you and when it comes to waistbands, um, they fit different bodies, so it's always worth trying a few. But the shaped ones like this, what it does is puts more support where baby's weight is, which can often help and often feel very, very comfortable without having too much bulk around the edges. Um, the other thing to note about this waistband, compared to a lot of slings, is it has a safety clasp. So if I bring it around the front, you can see the buckle has a button. So you need to use two hands to undo this. So the way I'm going to undo it is going to press and push simultaneously. You can do it behind your back, but um, as I said, in, unless you're expecting it, <laughs> you know, and it means you can't do it with one hand. And the reason for that is the manufacturer wants you to encourage you to put your baby down first before you undo the waistband. Um, and it's to sort of stop people sort of absent-mindedly undoing this before they're actually ready to take baby out. The other thing to notice about this waistband is um, on the waistband, so these little sliders here, we have an adjustment system for the carrier itself. So this is really quite clever. This allows the panel to be adjusted from teeny tiny, so about, you can see from its narrowest width, and then bit by bit by bit as baby grows, bit by bit by bit, and it will come all the way out all the way to here. What's really genius about this is on its smallest setting, it's much smaller than most um, buckle carriers, gears of babies, and on its widest setting, it's about the width of most toddler carriers. Um, so this allows you to really smoothly, bit by bit, increment by increment, adjust from maybe not new newborn, but probably about four to six weeks, all the way through to four years. So this is absolutely massive age range, and one of the biggest on the market, all the way from four, four to six weeks, all the way up to four years. And the adjustment, unlike a lot of the where it steps, the adjustment's absolutely smooth. So you, as your baby grows, you could just make those tiny little adjustments, bit by bit by bit, so that they sat perfectly in this carrier as they grow. So I'm gonna pop this back for the size doll I'm using today, which is about here and then I'm gonna pop this carrier on. Um, the other thing I should say about this is it adjusts, is what's really clever about it, is most car other carriers, that, there are other carriers that do adjust and the waistband cinches down in some way, but most of them do so in quite a bulky way. So the material ruches up and you're left with large bulky bits in the back of baby's knees. Um, so if we think about like the Bova X, the Mamaruga Zebulo, the um, Izara, the Izara the One carrier, they're always, they're all really lovely adjustable carriers that cover a similar age range to this. Although I would say this one probably goes bigger than a lot of them. Um, but all of them sort of look very bulky when you have them on the smallest setting. Whereas this one, you can see not at all, there's almost no bulk. And that's simply because if I bring this closer, the material they're using to scrunch is, is just this, this triangular flap that comes out. There's, and then because the waist, this, the system is on the waistband itself, and like so, there's just no extra material. Rather than being all attached all over and having all this material ruch up, they've left this empty with just this tiny part attaching to the waistband. And it's only this bit that folds up and as a consequence, even when it's on its absolute smallest setting, you can see this material lies completely flush with no added bulk. And that's definitely something that appeals to me 
because it will stop you and baby getting as warm <laughs> but still we're getting the same length of time in the end so um, we've got that closed so I'm going to grab my baby and start going up the panel so I'm going to just get my baby comfortable and bring them in the next thing to note about this camera is you can see with the design that this panel is actually shaped so it's shaped so that oh, let me go this way so the light is better it's shaped so that baby's bum naturally droops down lower than their knees um, and that gives them a really comfortable seated position so rather than a straight panel where you get that position by scooping them this baby still scoop but the panel kind of does that for you with the shaping and that's really nice and then as we continue up the panel you'll see we have some zips here so this is the height adjustment system so you can see at the moment this is a bit high for my baby i'm just going to pop my baby down and show you this so what we have it on at the moment is the middle height setting and then to get to the height, taller height setting we literally just undo this zip and you can see now the panel has grown and got even longer still um, and then if we wanted to get to the shorter height setting we can remove this altogether and then zip these two parts together and this will shorten the panel as you can see by a good several inches all the way down so you really have these three height settings so this is a stepped adjustment rather than a smooth you have the three height settings from here to this much bigger and then all the way up to that much bigger and again that's allowing you to adjust from a four to six week old baby where they would be on the lowest height setting all the way up to a four-year-old baby where they would have the highest height setting and everything in between. The other thing I really like about this carrier is also it means you can adjust because it's on the zip panels at the front you can also adjust while you're using it so if your baby likes having a better view or likes having their arms out you could go to a smaller setting either the smallest or the mid one and then when they were tired and they brought their arms in and they needed more head support and they were going to sleep then you could let the panel out um, a section and make it longer so you can do those changes as and when you need to. Um, so I'm gonna grab, right, before I grab my baby, now I'm gonna, as I travel up, I'm gonna show you in here, you can see in here, we've sort of got a, a padded bit, but actually this comes out and this is a hood. Um, again, useful if you want to cover your baby, if it's raining, if you wanna support the head further, um, but also because it rolls up and goes into this little pouch on the inside, um, can act as a really nice sort of head support neck pillow just rolled up and um, or you can take it out and use it as a more direct head support as a hood as well so if I tuck that back in which of course you can do much more neatly than I have done um, and then the last thing I want to talk about is the shoulder straps so again Shoulder straps are really cleverly designed on this carrier and really adjustable. And this is partly how it's going, it fits so many different parents. So this is a carrier that I really haven't met anyone it doesn't fit. Um, it can go all the way from really petite parents all the way up to extra large parents who have just broader landscape. Um, and part of the reason for that is that this, the straps can be adjusted in three places, which means they can be let out really long or go, go really, really short. And the first one is this. So these are the perfect fit adjusters. And you can see there's no padding in here, and then there's padding. And so we can use these to adjust where the padding is. So if you you have a shorter torso, you can use it to bring the, uh, the padding lower, or likewise, if you're longer in the back, you can use it to ensure that the padding sits well on your shoulders and goes as far down your back as you need it to. Um, and it's also great because it, can help give a, give a bit of a higher back carry um, when you're starting to back carry or again just be something that's easy to adjust between, ba between baby being awake and looking out and then cozying in you can just sort of tighten it up right near baby um, so and then as we travel down you can see again these are reasonably thickly padded but again very soft and moldable so they really shape to your body and then as we travel down to the strap Again, we've got the other two places you can adjust the strap. So you can adjust it here, where I put these together. You can see you can adjust it by pulling forwards 
or backwards, which means whether you're doing front carries or back carries, there's something easy to grab, easy to grab and easy to tighten. Obviously, the pro of having so many places to adjust just one strap is um, that it's very adaptable and will fit a huge range of bodies and it's about you know fiddling with it to get the right settings for you and you can really do that because it gives you so much flexibility. The con is there's more to fiddle with so the first time you have it it's going to take you a little while of fiddling with all the straps to work out a what they do and b where you want them to be. Some parents don't like that and would rather just go with something that just has one strap um, and is simpler and some parents like the fact that it's going to give them a better fit if they take the time to um, adjust it all. So I'm going to grab my baby and pop them in. You can see this in real time. So I'm going to do up my straps cross straps. So and this carrier offers the ability to do it crossed or rucksack. And again we can do rucksack because we have a chest strap. I'll show you on the other strap. But I'm going to go for cross. I'm going to reach around and bring that in and click it on. Um, so we can do rucksack because we have a chest strap here, you can see, um, and one on the other side. Um, so you can do the rucksack or this one. Again, this is something I really love about this carrier. It just gives you so much options. So if you and your partner, this is one I reach for all the time when couples come and they're very different sizes. So if you and your partner are very different sizes, it's one that just adjusts really well to fit, you know, very different sized couples. I remember one of the first couples um, who went on to buy one of these, um, the, the mum was four foot nine and the dad was six foot four, but we could still get a great fit on both of them. And it's one of the few carriers you can do that. So you can see, I can adjust here if I need to bring baby closer to me, or likewise if I want to give them a bit more space, I can loosen that off. I can adjust by pulling backwards or forwards. You can see now I've brought this to the shortest setting, this is about right for this baby. And I have the hood here, if I'd like to use it, and if I would like to use it, I can just use this to grasp onto here. Um, there we go, and I can use that and set it how I need to. And likewise, there is actually a button here, so if you want to use this to attach anywhere and come back around, you can, you've got that flexibility. So, in terms of what else is carry on, so obviously it does a front carry like this, also does a hip carry, and it also does a back carry, um, which is great when your baby gets older. Um, in terms of how long it will last, as I said, Generally, a baby's not maybe not right from birth, but from about four to six weeks, you can start to get a great fit in this carrier. And then it will continue fitting all the way up to four years. And then my daughter currently is three and a half and she fits beautifully in this on the biggest settings um, and has plenty of growing room left. Um, so it gives you an absolutely huge, huge, huge fit range. Um, what it doesn't do is it doesn't forward face. And I know that's popular. Um, but this one doesn't offer that, but it does offer the hip position which, and the back carry position, which are often great alternatives to forward facing. Um, compared to a lot of other carriers that are forward facing, this just gives a much broader fit range. Um, and it just gives that really beautiful shape. And the other thing I found is often parents that have this don't miss not having the forward facing, A, because they've got the hip carry, but B, this adjustable height panel can make a huge difference. So often, when babies are sort of fidgeting their carrier, it's just that they want a better view and they want to be able to look out more. And the fact that you can get this panel down so small, um, you know, it was plenty small enough that a four, five, a four, five, four, four, five month old baby can see really obviously. So this doll is about the age of actually of a three month old. But um, by the time you've got a five month old who wants to see everything, they can, they can really see out of it. They might even be able to get their arms out which they'll love at least while they're awake. Um, but you've still got that extra width, um, extra length to grow into. So it isn't like some of the other carriers where the, there's a shorter panel, but then the trade-off is it isn't gonna last as long. Um, yeah, in terms of other carriers on the market, I mean, a lot of the other ones around the same things are such as the Ergo, um, the Beko Aid, um, the, the original Manduka, so the original Manduka, the Manduka first, this one is in fact very similar to it. 
It's just the Manduka first doesn't have the ability to adjust the width um, and doesn't have as much length on the back. So this one definitely, this one is really like a baby carrier and a toddler carrier all rolled into one. And really that's the main advantage of this carrier is just how well it fits babies of such a wide range of ages and how well it fits different parent sizes, how flexible it is. Um, they're the main pros. The cons are just simply that because there are quite a few different straps to adjust, it, if you haven't used this carrier before, it's quite easy to sort of get confused about what you're pulling and sort of end up lopsided and a bit uneven with this one tightened and that one loose and this one too tight and just feeling a bit lopsided. But it's if you do want something that will last a really long time and be really comfortable, it's worth the time investment. Time investment of standing in the mirror, spending a little while figuring it all out and getting it really super comfortable. So if I just turn around, you can see. Um, yeah, so I hope that's been helpful. Um, 